Hey guys, this is Texas Tiger Digs, and I thought I would uh, do the uh, roundup tonight. Uh, hopefully the lighting is not too bad. It is in the middle of the night. But I thought I would get this done because I have a contest to complete tomorrow and uh, to, uh, to do all the requirements to, uh, to find the two winners. So let me get this going. Uh, let me come back and I will uh, separate the coins from the uh, from the other stuff uh, and uh, we will discuss the uh, this week's hunt so uh, just a second and we will be right back I guess Texas Tiger digs if you've been watching my hunts for a while you know the kind of coins I get usually on my hunts and these hunts are not more this particular week of hunts was not significantly more uh, got away significantly more extensive than the other day's hunts uh, the only thing that differed about this uh, this week was that we did get some very unusual at least for the last few months uh, rain and so I had a very small return on day one and day two but as the rain increased the majority of my finds were on the, f the next three days the next three sessions which are you know my sessions are about let's just have we'll make an estimation 30 30 maybe not we'll go with 30 an hour, 30, 30, 30. So what is that? That's two and a half, three hours. More like, I, I would probably round it up to about three hours and 15 minutes or so, uh, uh, giving myself a little leeway for being in error. And uh, these were the coins I got, you know, no silver. Uh, I got a little jewelry on this hunt and uh, I, I had a throwaway day and I'll tell you about that in a minute. So you know, so just for this uh, for this particular hunt, we got a buck seventy-five in quarters, a nickel, buck eighty, thirteen dimes, which is a little bit unusual, and probably about twelve or thirteen pennies. So I would, I'm gonna calculate that. You guys can calculate that yourself. wasn't a, wasn't a wasn't a great wasn't a great day for returns. But if you notice how many more penny and dimes that I've had before that's an always an indication that I'm in areas that I've hit a lot and then I'm going in with both of the days and the safari and digging very 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 light and deep tones the day specifically you know I can I can always guarantee it's gonna be one or two uh, you know numbers off of what I expect it to be but it's going to be deep and then I can usually assume it's going to be a dime and even more rare a quarter. I actually found a pretty deep quarter. And I was actually able to go pretty deep because it did rain a little bit. So that's just the coins. So uh, you know this this is this is uh, in line with some of my weeks and like I said the dimes and the pennies were much more expensive than usual. Let's look at the other finds. Uh, I had a uh, you know I had a, a few pieces of junk the first day. Nothing, you know, just just trash, garbage, etc. Uh, this is gold. <laughs> it looks like it's a kid's diorama. It was put on a bottle cap or something and glued in. So it's probably a little piece in some kid's display of uh, prehistoric or something. You know, these little dioramas they make in a, in a plastic, I mean a plastic, yeah, plastic case or a cardboard box. That's probably what it was. So that's pretty cool and it's pretty interesting. On that same day, I got a couple of couple of keys back to back. A drum motors key and another key and these are about a foot apart. I, I don't find usually keys in numbers unless they're on a ring but these two are very close together. Maybe somebody was had a ring that was just leaking keys that day. Uh, this I had hopes for when I pulled it out hoping it might be silver. Uh, I, I'm 99% I'm sure it's junk. I'll run a test on it but nah it's, it's gonna be junk but I'll just do it for the just so I, I can remember how to do it. And uh, this Boy Scout slide that I scratched. This was before the rain, so uh, I was just having to just chip into the earth again. Uh, the rain helped, but it's also beginning to go away. I can feel the ground, uh, the ground just, uh, and I always say the Boy Scout stuff. I can feel the ground just uh, getting more and more solid as time goes by. Some general junk. This says Zara Man. I thought that might be something interesting. It's just a, uh, it's just a brand off of some uh, overpriced clothes, a little tag. And uh, you know, I get these big, I've got this, a couple of these big washer looking things out there a couple of times. Not sure what they are. A big piece of 
probably aluminum, gave a great sound, and then just general chunks of scrap metal. Over here was a heavy duty uh, bottle cap, uh, it looks like a, uh, was it a, uh, a tent, a tent uh, thing to uh, secure it down or whatever. And, uh, and this is not even half the junk I've got, but I just show little examples. And uh, I think this was the last couple of days, or last day, Don Juan. I think that is a, I don't know, liquor, a liquor tag of some kind. I found this little brass lock out there today, which is pretty cool. And it's almost a brand new, shiny brass lock. I was actually passing to a hardware store, not looking to match this brass lock. And look down, it's the current Brinks uh, brand lock. Uh, so, you know, so I... I, that's probably uh, not more than a few months old when it was just barely under the grass. I think you see that in my first roundup video. And if you want to see the gigs connected to this, this the previous two videos, I'll put either I'll put links, or and I will also put them in the uh, in the comments. And so that was about it for that day. So not too great. And about the only thing memorable was the Boy Scout slide and a little brass lock. I get, I, you know, I get keys all the time. I usually get at least one or two keys a week. In any case, uh, that's all I've got, and I will be back with you uh, next time uh, with my next series of hunts. I don't, I don't get silver every time. I haven't got gold at all hardly this year. So, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm gonna keep going out there, and I'm gonna do my time, and then eventually the dam is going to burst. Anyway, I will talk to you later. You have a wonderful day.